Hello everyone, welcome to a new Olympia Knights devlog. So quite a few things have happened since the last time. I've added two new maps, two new abilities. Hecate's Torch now actually has a fire effect, which was a bit tricky to get working with the movement. There's also a new game mode. And last but not least, I did a lot of improvements to the UI. And I also implemented character customization with cosmetics and emotes and stuff like that. Now, as always, I'll go through everything chronologically. Now, before we start, if you haven't already, it would mean the world to me if you wishlisted Olympia Nights on Steam, because currently Olympia Nights only has 250 wishlists, which is cool, but it is said for a successful game launch you need at least around 10k, which we are still far away from. So I greatly appreciate everyone who wishlists. So the first new map is a big Colosseum. I gave it the name Arena, which I think is simple and fitting. And the Colosseum itself is actually something I managed to do myself in Blender. Only the trees, rocks and textures are third-party assets. This map is also easily one of my favorites. Since even though the map isn't that detailed, I think it gives quite an immersive feel and it's also great for dueling. Now the other new map is Olympus. So far I think the map looks okay, however it still needs some more details and also optimization because some of the objects are way too high poly and also some of the LODs don't really look good. By the way, for those who don't know what LOD means, it stands for level of detail and is an optimization technique where you swap a model with a lower resolution model the further the camera is away. Now Olympus also is the first map that allows you to throw players off the map. You'll have to decide for yourself if that's a good or bad thing, but don't worry too much about it, the map still has large enough areas where you can safely fight without getting thrown off the map. Now I actually also added a third new map, however for this one I just threw a bunch of assets together so I'm not too proud of this one. Now let's move on to Hades' new fireball throw ability. He basically just throws a fireball which explodes on impact and deals area damage and if you hit a player directly it deals extra damage. Now the first time trying this some very interesting stuff happened because I misconfigured some collision layers and as you can see the collider of the fireball pushed the player up in the air. Getting the fireball to move to the center of the screen was also a bit tricky because I had to interpolate between two trajectories so that the fireball can be thrown with the character hand but go in the direction of the third person camera. I also added a trajectory indicator which I found really satisfying. Now let's move on with Hecate's new ability. The idea was to make something like a double attack, where the first attack would lock you onto the opponent and yeah, basically pull you towards the opponent and then the second attack would go through block. But of course this should be dodgeable with good timings. But so far I'm not really happy with the lock on yet because it's very inconsistent and often doesn't really work as expected. Although in some situations you can get really good hits with it. Now regarding Hecate's torch fire effect, I first tried to use the visual effect as is, but that looked terrible. So I tried to calculate the direction and velocity of the torch object, then inverse the direction and apply it to the velocity of the visual effect, and that actually worked pretty well. Now the new game mode is God Game, it's basically inspired by Gun Game, but instead of getting a new gun for eliminations, you get a new character. Which I think is kind of a cool game mode, since you have to get kills with every character in order to win. Now Olympia Knights finally also has its own title theme, which was made by a freelancer, and you'll probably get to hear it really soon. For a little sneak peek, here's the victory theme, and by the way I also added a little slow motion effect for round end screens. And here is the defeated theme. I now also added a few Steam achievements, as well as stat tracking, and you can now view your stats in the main menu. The main menu now also downloads the patch notes from Steam, which I think is a cool feature to see the patch notes in the main menu. I now also created the infrastructure for cosmetics and emotes using the Steam inventory system. For now the categories are character skin, weapon skin, emote and victory emote. So far I have only one for each category. Hecate in black clothing for character skin. For weapon skin I have this Zeus lightning bolt and I made this one the original. And for emote and victory emote I have this emote for Poseidon which by the way is totally not inspired from the finals. Now regarding the question, will Olympia Knights be free to play or how much will it cost? 
The answer is, I don't really know yet, but I'm strongly leaning towards making it free to play and hopefully get some revenue through cosmetics. And don't worry, there won't be any gameplay affecting microtransactions, it will all just be cosmetics and emotes and stuff like that. Now, of course, if I would sell the game for maybe something like 5 euros, I wouldn't really have to think much about cosmetics, but of course, feel free to let me know in the comments what you think is the best option for this. A free to play game probably also has a lot better chances to get popular. Although the Steam algorithm is actually heavily based on money, so I'm not 100% sure what's the best way to go there. By the way, if you're interested in joining closed beta tests, you can message me on Discord and I'll probably invite you. Now regarding release, I'm kind of thinking of joining the Steam Next Fest in September I think it was, and then release somewhere after that into early access. This might be a little bit unrealistic though, since I also have a few other side projects. Like recently I've been trying to learn Flutter, which is a cross-platform UI framework, and I'm also trying to learn a bit of Unreal Engine every now and then. And of course I also have a full-time job, so unfortunately time is something I have way too little of. Okay, I think that was pretty much everything. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to wishlist and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.